Hey, Mom, this is Don. Happy birthday. We put together a little something here for you called Recorded Tribute by Family and Friends. So sit back, get a glass of wine, relax, and I want you to enjoy the messages. But first, I got a song I'd like you all to help me sing, and it goes something like this. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Mom. Okay, now on with the messages. Okay, hey, Brother Den, take it away. Hi, Mom. This is Dennis. I want to wish you a very happy 90th birthday and tell you that I love you very much. Um, 90 years old is, is like a milestone, uh, and especially when a person looks as good in, as you and has enough energy to wear out her own children. Uh, I mean, I've tried to follow you around in uh, Walmart many times and wish that I was back in the car sleeping like Donald usually does. Um, anyway, it's it's hard to believe how the world has changed since you... You were born in 1921. You're a child of the Depression, member of the greatest generation, and uh, a proud American who's the child of immigrants. And you and, and Dad gave Lynn and Don and me the values that we have and made us the persons that we are. And I think we're pretty good. Um, I want to thank you for something even more fundamental than that, for marrying Dad and um, not only was he a great guy and wonderful father, but had you not married him, Lynn, Don, and I, and our kids and grandchildren literally would not exist. So thanks a lot from all of us. There are so many fond memories from uh, my childhood. Uh, there's too many to mention, but, but I do want to mention our annual vacations, uh, mostly uh, uh, one-week trips to places like New York State, you know, the various game farms, Canada, I remember Niagara Falls and Cave of the Winds and uh, Pennsylvania, that uh, place with the lake there where you could catch snapping turtles on hook and line, and even a long drive to Florida all the way to the, the Everglades. And, and that one, I remember Dad seeing if he could get the car up to 100 miles an hour with his whole family in a car, and he did, and he didn't get a ticket. You remember that. And that's the time I fell into the... Uh, the uh, canal there in the Everglades as well. Uh, anyway, uh, those vacations with you and Dad and with uh, little Linda and baby Don were priceless. Um, also, the great Christmas celebrations we had. Uh, thanks for making all those meals, for shopping for all those presents that we thought Santa Claus gave. Um, it's really great that we have most of those holidays on movie film, too. Um, and Personally, I want to thank you for the trust that you had in me. Uh, you and Dad really let me do my thing. I remember coming home at 5 o'clock in the morning as the sun was coming up many times when I was in college. And it was only when I was a parent that I realized how nerve-wracking that must have been and how glad you must have been when you heard me opening the door downstairs and walking up the stairs. Uh, anyway, as we grew up, uh, we had our own families. You were a great, uh, wonderful grandparent. Uh, you made Brian and Sean feel special, as you did for each of your grandparents. And I'm really looking forward to organizing all the old pictures I have of our trips to visit you and Dad and your visits to visit us in West Virginia and up here in uh, Danbury uh, when Brian and Sean were kids. And it's really great that now you're getting a chance to do the same thing with Henry and Blake, that they're getting an opportunity to know you and and to see what a great person you are. But anyway, the, the bottom line is that I really admire you for putting family first. And I want to thank you for all those years of uh, love and worry and interest that you had in all of us. So I love you very much, and I wish you a very, very happy birthday, Mom. Hey, Mom, this is your daughter, Linda. I'm finally getting at the last minute to do my recording to you. 
I was going to write things down, and they all sounded dumb, so I figured I'll just wing it and see how it comes out. Just want to say I love you, even though at times you get angry at me for doing silly things and stupid things and inconsiderate things, and I apologize. But I love you, and you're the best mom ever. I hope I can be like you as my life continues along being a grandma and a mom yet and a wife. Your dedication and loyalty to family is fierce, and I can only hope to emulate that path, and I'd be I'd be doing good. A good example of your fierce loyalty, which always comes to mind, is how you cut out a picture of an ex beau husband from from a picture of whoever the family member is that has been scorned by this person but you'll still put the picture up on the refrigerator without the head of the person or whatever part you had to cut out to get that person out, just showing your support for the the family member. That's true devotion and loyalty, and we appreciate it. We all appreciate it. There's nothing more to say about that. Your mom, a great Gigi ma, you've taught us all how important family is, and there's nothing like it. I think we've all come through our lives and reached these ages we are, and we all feel the same way, that bottom line, no matter where you go, family's there, and you really need to stick up for each other and take care of each other, and that's what it's all about. We've made it through a lot of tough times, great times, all because of you and Dad being there for us when we needed you, even though you probably thought we didn't do really the best thing we should be doing. And I hope I imparted that onto my kids. I know you and Dad both did, and you still are doing that to them. You love them all unconditionally, and and same back to you. So I think I've rambled enough. You're a great mom, great Gigi ma, and our kids are just blessed to have grown up around you, have you in their life, and we will continue to do what our family does for as long as we can, and hopefully pass it on to the next generation. Okay, Mom, we love you. Hope you're having a good time at your birthday celebration, or I hope you had a good time, and we'll be seeing you. Take care. Love you. Hi, this is Sheila. Happy 90th birthday. I'm reading this. Looking forward to helping you celebrate with the family at Bonefish. This is a wonderful occasion for the whole family to gather and celebrate your life as a mother, mother mother-in-law, grandmother, a wife, a great-grandmother, a sister, and a friend to so many over the years. I have known you for 46 years. I met Dennis in 1964 And at that time, you were 44 years old. Do you believe it? I have been blessed to have known you for almost half your life. Let's see. Forty years ago, I remember you made sauerbrot and potato balls for me in Glendale. I thought I had died and gone to heaven. I can remember coming home to Brooklyn and telling my mother how wonderful it was. I have tried making it on my own, but it never came out quite as good as yours. You also gave me the recipe for Grandpa's Soup, which Dennis gets on occasion if he's good, and your famous Christmas butter cookies. I still have those recipes and have used them many times over the years. Now, how many shopping trips have we been on together? We are the dynamic duo when it comes to shopping. Ask anyone. We have it down to a science. I loved our Roosevelt field trips and fortune offs, pottery time, belts outlet, and now the Loop and BJ's. Do you remember shopping with me on Myrtle Avenue? I still have Christmas decorations from one of those trips. And last but not least, you have raised three wonderful children, and I thank you for giving me Dennis. He is the love of my life, and I take good care of him for you. We all love you, and I look forward to shopping another 100 years with you. Let's party. Yo, 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 the bread man here. 
Hey, Mom, I want to give you a birthday shout-out, a 90th birthday shout. 90 years on this good Mother Earth. God bless you. Wow, think about the events that occurred during that time. The Roaring Twenties, the Depression, World War II, Baby Boomers, the Civil Rights Movement, Vietnam, the Beatles, A Man on a Moon, Woodstock, Watergate, the Internet, the end of the Cold War, two New York World's Fairs, the iPod, and Obama, just to name a few. And through it all, Mom, you stood for the simple proposition that each of your children should be all that we could be. Mom, you're amazing. Always there for us no matter what. The ability to have the right thing to say at the right time, like, I'm only doing this for your own good. Oh, Yvette, how many times did I hear that? You cook, you clean, and toil endlessly without much compliment, and you love without question. And all you ask for in return is that we be good kids growing up and wash our hands, clean our rooms, stand up straight, comb our hair. Oh, boy, oh, boy. It seems Mom's role was and is always to tell us we're the best while still challenging us to be better. It's that balance between unconditional love and a gentle push to do and be more. That's the greatest lesson given to us by you, Mom. God bless you. I want to give you a special and personal thank you for all the years of prayers to St. Jude. Miracles do happen, Mom. I love you. Thank you so much for that. Mom, you never come right out and ask that we love and respect you in return. That's not your nature. But, Mom, you know that in the end we do love and respect you. Because, Mom, you gave us what we needed to have the life we wanted. That's Mom's gift to myself, Dennis, and Linda. And again, in the end, we children realize that the things mom says and does really offer our own good and our best interest. Mom, you gave us a great foundation, God, family, and country. We are truly blessed, and our blessings will be handed down to future generations. So happy birthday, Mom. Thanks for all you've done and hopefully will continue to do for a long time to come. My message is dedicated to my mom and dad. They are and always will be truly the greatest and grandest things in my life. Happy birthday, Mom. I love you. Yeah, hi, Ann. This is Ellen and Frank Forwalk calling to wish you a happy, happy, happy 90th birthday. Uh, we have been so privileged to know someone who is so, so bright and so together at 90. You are one of the funniest people that I have met with all your little quips and, and sayings when we get together at our, at our family uh, get-togethers like Thanksgiving and, and Easter and just when we visit and uh, – I just think that uh, my daughter, Sherry, uh, is, has been so, uh, so fortunate to have a mother-in-law like you are. And I think even as you grew older, uh, since they've been married for God knows how long, 25 years, I believe they celebrated this year, I think you have gotten so much more into at least my feeling into our family and your family and we've enjoyed talking to you and being around you and your pumpkin pies at thanksgiving and all that you do for them to make their memories uh just to have those memories as they get grow older and their children grow older of all the happy times that they've had at all the family occasions and to just keep being that you have kept everything together, all the family together over the years. Uh, again, have a wonderful, wonderful birthday and uh, wish we could be there. Take care. It's Ellen and Frank Forwalk. Happy, happy birthday to you. Bye. Dear Aunt Anne, this is Gregory. I hope with my voice you can hear me. I just wanted to wish you a very, very happy and
and blessed 90th birthday. Some of my earliest memories are, of course, of you. I can uh, remember family picnics in Ali Pond Park when we lived in Queens Village. I can uh, remember uh, spending uh, so many Sunday afternoons at your house, uh, often uh, eating wonderful hot dogs while we laid on the uh, living room floor watching Victory at Sea. Um, I can remember uh, uh, family vacations together at uh, Lake Ronkonkoma. I can remember uh, particularly one Fourth of July trip. We lived in Queens Village at the time, and uh, it was Fourth uh, of July and 100 degrees uh, outside. And because we knew everyone would be going to places like Jones Beach and Sunken Meadow, uh, we decided we'd go as far out east as we could uh, to avoid the crowds. So the trip was planned to go to Wildwood State Park uh, in the Wading River on the North Shore. We had a caravan of, of uh, three cars. Uh, my father and mother, uh, I believe, were in the lead car, and uh, Rudy and Sissy, of course, uh, I were in one of the cars, and uh, you and Uncle Mac were in another car, and we had uh, our grandparents with us as well. And uh, as I said, the temperature exceeded 100 degrees in the days before cars were air-conditioned. And it was quite a long ride out there. Uh, and when we got to Wildwood State Park, uh, we were all set to jump into the water and enjoy the beach and cool off only to find out that the park was closed because it was over full. So we never made it to the beach. We never got into the water. We never cooled off. But our family was resilient. We uh, drove around, found some dirt road that led to the middle of some farmer's uh, cornfield, I believe it was. And there we uh, set up our picnic. We put the blankets out and uh, took out our uh, Pepsi-Cola uh, coolers. Uh, with the ice that had now melted and turned into water and pulled out uh, soggy sandwiches and, uh, you know, kind of warm uh, uh, hard-boiled eggs and uh, warm, uh, you know, bottled soda. And we had our picnic anyway and made the best of it, although it was a miserable time, but a memorable Fourth of July anyway. Of course, I can remember party after party down at uh, the basement of your house uh, likewise, I remember so many parties at our house in Carl Place. It seemed that uh, if we weren't at your place, you were always at ours. Uh, these were uh, two families that uh, melted together, and uh, we were spent so many wonderful times together and have so many memories together. It goes without saying that you are an integral part of my life. I love you, and I wish you a very, very Happy birthday. God bless you. Love, Greg. Yo, 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 the bread man in the house. Hey, Mom, I have a little poetry for you. You were the doctor when we were ill. Giving us a bandage, a hug or a pill. You were the teacher. When we had schoolwork, you gave us love and patience too. Mother, you had so many things to do. It's no wonder that I so love you. In life, you really passed the test. Coming out on top, the best of the best. Thank you so much and happy birthday. Hey, Grandma, it's Tara. Happy 90th birthday. Love you so much. Hope you have a great day today. Bye. Dear Auntie Anne, this is Carlene. Happy birthday. I'm very happy to wish my father's little sister, now a great-grandmother, a happy birthday. I wish that I could see you. I'm glad that you were a big part of my life while I was growing up. During all of those trips to New York, five or six times a year, we always felt welcome in your home. 
Later, I saw you in Florida a number of times. I remember visiting you and Uncle Mac in your home and talking about shopping and taking aerobics classes and other things. You always had an energy, a zest for life, that's now carried on by your three loving children, your grandchildren, and now your great-grandchildren. Happy 90th birthday. With love from your niece, Carlene. Hello, Mom. Yo, yo, bread man in the house. I have some funny 90th birthday quotes and sayings that I thought you might enjoy. Time may be a great healer, but it's a lousy beautician. Gloria Swanson. Don't regret growing older. It's a privilege denied to many. Mark Twain. How old would you be if you didn't know how old you are? Satchel Page. Youth would be an ideal state if it came a little later in life. Oliver Wendell Holmes. Growing older is like being increasingly penalized for a crime you have not committed. Anthony Powell. They say age is all in your mind. The trick is keeping it from creeping down your body. Trumi Capote. I don't do alcohol anymore. I get the same effect you're standing up fast. Don McCauley. Well, Mom, I hope you enjoyed these sayings, and I'll see if I come up with some more. Happy birthday, Mom. We love you. Hey, Graham. This is Ashley. And this is Shannon. We just want to wish you a very happy 90th birthday. Love ya. Hi, Mom. It's me again. Yo, yo. Bread man in the house. I have some more happy 90th birthday quotes and sayings. Youth is a wonderful thing. What a crime to waste it on children. George Bernard Shaw. Birthdays are good for your health. Statistics show that people who have the most live the longest. Father Mario Lorenzo. Your birthday is a special time to celebrate the gift of you to the world. Mickey Rooney. May you live to be 100 and the last voice you hear is mine. Frank Sinatra. Okay, Mom. Happy birthday. Hey, happy uh, 90th birthday, Ann Ann. This is uh, Michael Rush uh, calling on behalf of myself and uh, my mom, Rosemary. Just uh, calling to wish you a uh, happy 90th, and we should see you at the uh, festivities down in Florida in Bonefish and uh, the party on Sunday in Uncle Don's, too. And, uh, yeah, really uh, trying to think of uh, something uh, inspirational to say. I guess I should have uh, should have gone online and checked that out. But I've always enjoyed uh, having good times with you and everybody else uh, down there in uh, sunny Florida. And I uh, look forward to uh, many more uh, good times and more uh, relative parties and uh, births and celebrations and weddings and stuff like that and so on and so forth. And I'm sure my mom uh, feels the same way, too. She's just not very good with the online stuff, so she may not have uh, gotten this yet. But I'll try to get her on it with two. And love you very much, and I will see you in two weeks' time. Take care. Bye. Hi, Ann. This is Sherry, and this is my message to you. One night, as I laid in bed, I was trying to think of all the things that I wanted to say and how I wanted to word everything, and I thought to myself, why not just speak from my heart? So here it goes. 
I know how you really don't care for compliments too much, so I will try to keep it short and sweet. I just wanted to say, I just wanted to start off by saying that I can't tell you enough how much I have enjoyed these past few years with you. I feel closer to you now more than I have ever felt before. I love our chats over glasses of wine and listening to you talk of your younger years. I just wanted to let you know that you are not just my mother-in-law, you are my mother, and most of all, my friend. And I love you, and happy birthday. And this is just a little P.S. to you. We've had many conversations of our age and beauty, so please just take this one compliment for today. And I mean this when I say this. You are truly, truly beautiful. And I love you, and happy birthday. Hi, Ann. This is Lucy calling to wish you a happy birthday and hope it's the best birthday you've ever had and have many, many more. Happy birthday. Happy, happy 90th birthday, Ann. This is Kim Norvay calling from Omaha, Nebraska. Just couldn't miss the opportunity to wish you the happiest birthday that you could possibly have. 90 years is an accomplishment, and it's also a blessing. And I know that you will have a wonderful birthday weekend celebrating with your family from near and afar. I wish that we could be there to help you but to celebrate, but we can't. So um, we're just calling to say happy birthday um, I also wanted just to tell you how much I enjoy visiting with you whenever we're in Florida. Your smile, your sense of humor, your love of the Kardashians. I just, I really enjoy that, and it's always a joy to see you. I also want to tell you how much your daughter Linda means to me. She is my best friend. She is my soulmate, and we just... um we truly enjoy one another. We can argue with each other. We can share smiles and laughs and pretzels and Diet Cokes, and it never gets old. So, Anne, have a happy birthday, and I'll leave you with this. I once heard this quote years ago. Blessed is the man who has many happy yesterdays to stroll around in. I wish for you many, many happy yesterdays from the past 90 years that will keep you warm on the cold winter nights and will just bring a smile to your face. I love you and look forward to seeing you the next time we're in Florida. Bye, Ann. Hi, Ann. It's Cecilia, Jack's wife. I want to wish you a happy 90th birthday. I hope I'm as active as you are when I reach that special landmark. I, too, miss our visits to Florida and the wonderful times spent with you at your house or at Don's or at Linda's. You can be proud of yourself as a mother and as a grandmother. Each of your children has been successful in their life's work, and now you have great-grandchildren in which to give some of your values. I wish you a very happy birthday, one surrounded by a loving family and friends, and then I feel confident you will have many more such celebrations and moments to enjoy life to its fullest. You set a fine example for all of us. You are an inspiration. Once again, happy birthday. And here's Jack. Hey, dearest Ann, I cannot believe 90 years. You not only don't look it, but you don't act it. I have so many fond memories 
for the happy times we spent together as a family. First, I want to thank you for being a wonderful wife to my brother. I once asked him, do you love him? And he replied, yes, very much. And I think you should know that. I remember the times we spent at Lake Lake Wakakama. Our mothers would sit in chairs and watch the kids enjoy the lake. The many parties we had at your house and ours. There are so many wonderful memories with the joyous times we spent together as a family. I'm having my first Jack Daniels in many months as a toast to you. I wish you many, many more birthdays and all my love, Jack. How do I hang up? Let's not forget that the 1920s was the time of radical change and became known as the Roaring Twenties. The Yankees and Babe Ruth ruled the world of baseball. On May 25th, 1921, the New York Yankees versus the St. Louis Browns at Sportsman's Park in St. Louis. St. Louis defeated the Yankees 7-6. to six. In the world of music, jazz was the most popular choice of some of the best-known musicians such as Duke Ellington and Al Jolson. Oh, the 1920s was a good time. Hi, Ann. This is John Norvig calling from Omaha, Nebraska. You probably remember me because we saw one another just about a week ago, probably two weeks ago by the time you get this message, but I'm Linda's husband's first cousin, and I'm also married to Kim, and that should help you remember who I am. But I just want to say happy birthday, number nine zero, and I wish you many, many more. Uh, One of the things that uh, I wanted to tell you by phone and from my heart, thank you so much for those delicious brownies that you made for our dinner the night we all got together at Jack and Linda's. That was so thoughtful of you, and I think that's a pretty good example of the kind of a person you are, thoughtful and considerate and remembering what people like. And I like sweet things. And you'd be one of those. So happy birthday and many, many more. Bye-bye now. Hi, it's Sarah and Henry. Happy birthday, Gigi Ma. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Dima. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Gigi Ma. Hey, Grandma. Happy birthday. It's Brett. Um, 90, 90 years. That's that's an impressive, amazing time flies. Uh, just thinking about it, I was, you were only... Uh, 60 when I was born, very similar to my mom with Blake now. Um, just just calling, leaving this message to say that I'm so lucky to have you in my life. You've been been there. I was lucky enough to grow up about a mile from you um, pretty much my entire life. And uh, there are so many, so many memories that we've had over the years, um, Mainly, which I, I think of going over to your house. Uh, I had I had the the lawn cutting duty until Ryan took over, until he was old enough, and I left for school. And um, I'd go over there on a after school or a, even on a weekend, and get there 
early in the morning um, and take the entire day to cut the grass because I'm sitting there with Grandpa and taking long breaks. And You're always willing to make us a uh, grilled cheese sandwich if we're hungry. Um, always pushing the grilled cheese sandwiches. Sometimes you'd even throw ham on them, and they were they were quite delicious. Um, also, your spaghetti and meatballs, fantastic. Always, always pushing the food. Always asking if I'm hungry. Um, just making sure that anyone around is 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 well fed and and taken care of. And um, I really don't know what else to say on these things. It's it's kind of hard for me to come up with ideas, but. Um, we love you very, very much. We're so lucky and blessed to have you in our lives. And, um, I hope your 90th birthday is fantastic. And I hope there's many, many more to come. So, um, have a great day. Um, I love you. Take care. Bye. Hey, Ann, this is Jack. Happy birthday. Happy 90th birthday. It's a very special time for you and for us as well. Um, it's it's been a, a, a wonderful, you know, a wonderful time knowing you all these years. You've been a wonderful mother-in-law, and I love you very much. And I hope that that you that you uh, have a very very special day. Have a good day. What I'm saying is you should have said, I'd like to discuss politics with you some more. That's good. Okay, thanks. Hey, Grandma, it's Rachel. Um, I guess words can't express how blessed I feel to be such... <clears throat> <laughs> Sorry, to be part of such a great family with um, such strong family values, and you are absolutely an integral part of making this family what it is today. On a whole nother subject, I feel that the two of us, <laughs> you and I, um, are similar in many ways as well. Um, both of us are always worrying about everybody's safety, and uh, we never buy white anything. It'll show dirt. And no ice in our drinks because we get more in our cup without the ice. Um, and that just names a couple of things that totally remind me, myself, of you and likewise. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful birthday. And like I said, I feel extremely blessed to be in this family and to call you grandma. And I also am very happy and blessed for my son to call you his Gigi Ma. We love you, and I hope you have a great birthday. Hey, it's me again, Yo-Yo Breadman in the house. Food prices in 1921. Bread, one pound, nine cents. Cheese, one pound, 22 cents. Coffee, one pound, 30 cents. Eggs, one dozen, 27 cents. Hey, Mom, I have some more birthday quotes. I never forget my wife's birthday because it's usually the day after she reminds me. Jack Benny. Age is only a number. Mine is unlisted. Roseanne Rosanna Dana. There's no cure for the common birthday. John Lennon. As you get older, three things happen. The first is your memory goes. I can't remember the other two. Pope Paul V. You know you're getting older when the candles cost more than a cake. Joey Bishop. Hey, this is John O'Rosh, otherwise known as Little John, Johnny Appleseed by Donald. 
Happy birthday, Ian. Wow, it's a big one. Congratulations. Great memories, of course, Ian, Ian. Uh, New York, I guess uh, my best memories, or as a kid, of course, going to New York, especially over the holidays, Christmas and all that. It seems like Ian would uh, work extremely hard and uh, put together a really nice celebration down there. Christmas Eve, we'd have sour broaden. We'd have eggnog and all kinds of, I guess, deviled eggs, I remember. But it was just, uh, Ian was extremely, he is extremely generous, and uh, it was just so so nice and such a great memory from my childhood. Uh, the true meaning of Christmas, to be welcomed into the, uh, the O'Rosh McCauley house. Gosh knows, we went so many times a year, I'm surprised we were still welcomed. But it really was special. Uh, the work that Ann did, and of course my mom would help out, I guess, or maybe get in the way, I'm not sure. I do remember the eggnog and his kids, we, we always got to sample the eggnog, and it was always uh, well fortified with something. I don't know what it was, brandy or something, but uh, that was always the, uh, so perhaps my memory's a little fuzzy due to the eggnog, but uh, no, seriously, uh, just the Christmas and going to New York all the time, um, y'all made it really special, and I guess... Uh, you know, it was basically a bunch of guys and Ann there, so Ann was definitely the uh, the one to organize and uh, re- really make our, our holiday season special. Anyway, happy birthday. Look forward to seeing you all soon. Take care. Hey, Grandma. This is your favorite grandson, Ryan. Calling to wish you a very happy birthday. 90 years. Amazing. Um, I'm terrible at doing these things, but... I just want to tell you that I love you very much, and um, I really look forward to having many more delicious grilled cheese sandwiches uh, and doing a bunch of uh, limb cutting in your front yard and mowing your lawn, and uh, I love you again, and can't wait to celebrate with you in person. Bye. Hi, Mom. I have some more notable history in 1921. Albert Einstein receives the Nobel Peace Prize in Physics. Adolf Hitler becomes chairman of the Nazi Party in his rise to power in Germany. Sleeping sickness claims nearly 1,000 people living in the USA. Hi, Grandma. This is Sean calling from uh, Connecticut. Uh, I'm calling to calling the uh, Grandma Macaulay 90th birthday hotline. This is something that's new to me. Technology is really advancing here. This is pretty neat. Um, I'm just calling to uh, wish you a happy birthday and let you know uh, how excited I am to come down there and be able to spend all the time with you and with the family and. Uh, on this uh, momentous occasion, it should be uh, an excellent time to get everybody together for such, you know, for such a great, great occasion uh, down there for uh, good times and to celebrate a wonderful thing, a wonderful accomplishment. And, uh, and I'm very, very happy that we can uh, all get down there and that there's going to be a large group of people that come down and see you and, uh, celebrate everything great that you've done for us, all the uh, birthdays that you've remembered for everybody, and those cards that always show up on time, or, you know, several days ahead of time, of course, you never forget without fail, you know, it means a lot, that's great, you know, really, uh, every time I see that in the mailbox, it just uh, really, really means a lot that you remember, uh, remember to send the card out, you know, every, uh, every year without fail, and never late, so, uh, going to be uh it's going to be a fantastic time i'm really looking forward to it and, uh, only another uh a little over a week to go i believe so uh it's going to be nice to have the whole family together and i'm really glad that i'm uh able to be a part of this uh this occasion and uh yeah to spend it with you there and hopefully uh get to spend some time with you there you're going to be in demand on that day yeah uh, a lot of people uh a lot of people want to talk to you and uh you going to be the star of the show. It should be a great time. So, again, happy birthday, and uh, love you lots. Everybody does. And, 
happy birthday to you. And we'll be uh, seeing you soon. So, uh, everything goes well. Take care, Grandma. See you soon. Bye. Happy birthday, Ann. This is Kevin, Sherry's brother, wishing you a happy 90th birthday. Make it to the century mark, 100. Go for it. Happy birthday. Bye now. Hi, Grandma. It's Brian. I um, wanted to share just uh, a brief and fond memory I had from a long time ago. Um I must have been five or six years old at the time. But I remember that whenever we would go to visit you and Grandpa uh, at your house in Long Island, um, of course it was a big event, uh, and I very much looked forward to it. But whenever I would get there, uh, you would have a gigantic, gigantic homemade cookie ready for me. And... I remember that the the smell and the taste were delicious, and I can't imagine how many sticks of butter were in those cookies. But you know, it was kind of a pizza pizza sized cookie, and uh, this was well before the days of you know the cookie stores in the mall when um, those things became relatively uh, uh, more more well known. But um, that was uh, a distinct memory I have about going to visit you in Long Island, and um, it was always a great time. I also remember that we oftentimes would end up having some uh, fried fish dinners then, so um, I guess the fishing was good. Uh, Anyway, Grandma, happy birthday, and um, uh, I look forward to, uh, to the party in a few weeks. Hey, Mom, now we come to the part where we play some bloopers and blunders in a Weisenheimer. Sunday, May 22nd, 2011. Hey, Mom, how you doing? We put we put together a little something here for you. Uh, it's a little bit good. Uh, Hey, Ma, how you doing? This is Don. Happy birthday. Well, we put you together a little something here. It's called a recorded tribute from family and friends. Okay? And uh, it goes something like... Uh... Hey, Grandma. It's Brett. Happy 90th birthday. Um, very... This is a terrible recording. I have to do this again. Hi, Ann. It's me, Sherry. I just wanted to wish you a happy 90th birthday and just tell you a little bit of something about how I felt. And um, one night when I was laying in bed and I was trying to think of all the things that I wanted to say, I figured to myself, well, why don't I just start with what's in my heart? So here it goes. And I'll try, and I, I know how you don't care too much for compliments, so I'll try to keep it short and sweet. All I wanted to say to start off with was by saying that I can't tell you enough how much I have enjoyed these past few years. I feel closer to you now more than I've ever felt before. I love our chats over glasses of wine and listening to you talk about your younger years. And I just wanted to let you know that, forget it, starting over. Hi, Mom. It's the bread man again. Yo, yo, yo. Happy birthday, Mom. I just want to break it up a little bit and give you a few quotes that I came across, which um, are really nice to uh, hear. And um, let's see. Uh, Forget it. Hey, Grandma. This is your favorite grandson, Ryan. I'm the guy that cut your lawn. Happy 90th birthday. I know all is well, and I'm really looking forward to celebrating with you. Hey, Grandma. It's Ryan, your grandson. Happy 90th birthday. I know all is well. I'm really looking forward to celebrating with you and everybody else in the family very soon. And I love you very much, and I'm looking forward to everything. (laughs) 
Hey, Grandma. This is your grandson, Ryan, calling to wish you a very happy 90th birthday. I'm very much looking forward to... Uh... Hi, Mom. This is Dennis. I received an invitation from Don to um, just record some thoughts on life on record, uh, and I dialed up this number as he indicated on his uh, email, and uh, it was funny. A voice came on that sounded like Don, but he sounded like a really, really gay guy straight from the Flaming District in Greenwich Village, so uh, they must have had some actor who was trying to simulate Don's voice and make it seem very personable. But I remember way back when, I remember you taking me home from the hospital. I can remember that. I can remember you taking me out into the backyard with Grandpa, sitting there with Mr. Shower and Mrs. Shower next door, looking over, saying what a cute kid I was. I can remember you taking me to the park I remember sitting on a pony down in front of Mulligan's on Myrtle Avenue as the drunks rolled out of the bar. And that was wonderful, wonderful for the first four years of my life until October 2nd, 1952, when all of a sudden I had to share all of this stuff with a little baby girl named Linda. What's with that? And it got even worse on April 10th, 1954, when not only was I no longer getting 100% or 50%, I was only getting one-third because some guy named Don came along. What's with that? Everybody knows that the firstborn son should get it all. What's with these other two? Sorry, I got carried away there. I hope we can erase this. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. I'm damn right. Sunday, May 22nd, 2011. In conclusion, I'd like to thank the good Lord above for putting us here on this good Mother Earth in tune and harmony to celebrate this happy family occasion. Now, Let's have some fun. Let our head down. Because in a hundred years, who's going to know the difference? Breadman. <laughs>